All right, guys. This is what the Blue Ox tow bar system looks like. I pretty much just leave it on the back of our RV all the time, and I keep it locked on with one of these little lock-on pins. That way, nobody can take it. Anyway, it's real simple to take out of the stowaway position. It's uh, there's like a little metal uh, bar here that holds it in place in this bracket. You just gotta take it and just kind of push it over, and it unlocks. And it comes right out. Now these guys right here basically stretch out and they'll hook onto the Jeep. Now that's in the locked position. In order to unlock it, you just hit this guy right here. What you're gonna want it, these things in the unlocked position while you're hooking up, it's gonna be a lot easier on you. These two pins here lock straight into my mounting plate, which I've already mounted onto the, the Jeep frame. Uh, it's real simple. You just take these ends, these little rectangular ends, and you put it inside the mounting plate and you basically just turn it until it locks, just like that. Now our tow bar will fit right into those whenever the Jeep's pulled up just a little ways. These little pins right here on the end of the tow bar, you just pull them out. Just like so. That's good. So you extend these arms out, line them up with the hole on the pins we put into the mounting plate, stick the smaller pins back in and lock those in place. These little gold pins, just got to kind of move this thing around to where you need it. And that's it for the tow bar itself. Next, you just gotta hook up your safety change. Just standard safety chains. Just hook them onto the back of the RV here. You wanna make sure that you crisscross them. Just like so. Your electrical cable, which I can, in a later video, I can go over how I installed my electrical system. I like to take this and wrap it around something and then plug it in. That way in case it does come unplugged for whatever reason, I won't be dragging the cable, it'll still be hooked onto the Jeep. Just good practice. All right, the last thing you gotta do is I have a brake system uh, installed on this Jeep. It's also Blue Ox, called the Patriot brake system. And I got a breakaway cable mounted down here on my frame. You just gotta take the little breakaway cable and you gotta hook it on to the RV. Now inside the Jeep, every vehicle is gonna be a little different, but I'll just go over what you would do for a, basically a four on the floor. For the Jeep in particular, uh, we have a manual. Um, it's pretty simple, really. All you gotta do is you gotta unlock the transmission, which you pull back on this shifter that puts the Jeep into four wheel drive, low, high, or two wheel drive pull back into N, which is neutral, and that completely unlocks the transfer case and everything. So all four tires just spin freely, like you're towing a trailer. I leave my shifter in neutral, it doesn't really matter, it's just in case there was somehow a failure with that. And then obviously you wanna take your parking brake off. And uh, it's ready to be towed, other than the brake system, which I'm gonna show you next. All right, so this is the brake system that we ended up going with. It's called the Blue Ox Patriot 2 brake. Um, it's really simple to use. Uh, you literally just set it in your floor down here in the Jeep driver's side, obviously. And this little guy right here hooks onto your brake pedal. And then this butts up against your seat, plug it into the cigarette lighter, turn it on, and it's ready to go. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So you just stick it down in your floor. You hook on the pedal, and you don't have to, but I like to prop up that end, so I just have like a little block thing here that I prop up that far end. Just makes it work a little bit better. And then like I was saying, you just move the seat up right to it. You don't want to push it hard on it, you just want it to just barely touch it. It does the rest of the work. Plug, in your, plug it into your cigarette lighter. Mm -hmm. 
your breakaway cable, which you'll need to run from the front of the Jeep through the Jeep firewall or wherever you can, and then down to where you can access it. You just hook it straight into the breakaway right there. Power it on, hit setup, which it's just gonna actuate and show that it's working properly. And there you have it, it's ready to go. One last thing I will tell you, you wanna make sure, maybe just walk around to the back of, the, of your vehicle and just make sure your brake lights aren't stuck on. Um, sometimes you put it too close to the brake pedal, the brake lights will stay on all the time. So you wanna make sure you're not doing that. Now we just gotta unhook, which is just basically doing everything in reverse. So you're gonna wanna unhook all your cables. And then you just gotta unhook the Jeep from the tow bar. You're gonna push down on these two things. And that's gonna release your tow bar from the vehicle. And you should be able to just pull your pins right out. Sometimes you gotta shake the arms a little bit. Push the arms in, get them out of your way, bend back in so you don't lose any of your stuff. Do the same thing with the other one. Take your pins out of your vehicle, go into your mounting bar, and that's it, you're done. Now I just uh, I'm gonna run you through real quick how to disconnect the brake system for your tow vehicle. Uh, it's really simple with the uh, Patriot 2 brake. You literally just power it down, hit the power button, take your breakaway cable out, pull your seat back out of the way, unplug the brake system, and then reach down to your brake pedal where it's hooked on, hit your release button, slide it down off the brake pedal, and it comes right out. And that's it. It's that easy.